worked on a weird case recently, you know. Some janitor for that organization named Ethan who stole like some important key. He did a really good job at the theft, you know, the act of stealing. But it didn't count for the fact that we had security cameras all recording him and all of that. So we knew it was him that stole it, but the thing is is that um we didn't know where he went. So they called me to track him down. Uh, headed to the city at night. My efforts were quite fruitless indeed because I couldn't find a single trace of him. I was just running around and didn't find anybody and all that. So I went to go to the cinema and watch a movie. It was one weird movie and all that. Some voodoo, heartbeat, whatever. The next day my assistant calls me saying that they could finally track him down, you know. So I arrived at the house, you know, going through the front door without any problem. I looked at his living room and look what I saw. I saw the key right under the TV. But guess who was in front of me before I could head out? He was Ethan. He was threatening to kill me because I was trying to take the key out of his, his possession. You mean this key that is stolen property? But thankfully, I saw something like this on YouTube, you know, being in this type of situation where somebody's trying to kill you and all that. It's a bad position to be in, but I came prepared. So I just played it, played it cool, you know, played it cool, you know, just talked with the guy. Then I pulled out a knife and threw it at him and all that. Yeah, like it went, it went like that, like to his chest and all that. Next thing I do, I run towards him and get it towards his chest. So the knife gets deeper more of him and all that. So he fell down, I think he was slow and dying and all that. He, it looks like he got passed out, but it didn't matter much to me, so... Cut the key, check out his body one more time. Still passed out, so I went outside. Yeah, it was a little odd case, and to be honest, if you think about it in a metaphoric way, or I guess Drink is telling me to think about that in that way, if, that, if Ethan didn't get the key, he would still have been alive as a janitor with a vendetta he would never accomplish. But because he did get a key, it led to his death. We could say it's a key of death. I don't know, never really followed those philosopher type of things. Usually I failed those classes in college. I heard the rare blue waves is playing on channel 9 tonight, so I'm going to head out. See you around.